Hi guys, in the last video, we packaged our program into a function and saw how useful functions were. We're able to call our functions a function multiple times. And you saw the, the, the basic concept behind the function is to just define it once and then, you know, call it multiple times. Uh, you also saw that a function took in a parameter, in this case, one parameter or one argument, which is the age. And depending on that, it returned a certain uh, uh, value or variable, in this case, user description. And I also <clears throat> said that it's much more useful or much more, yeah, it's much more flexible if the function returns something instead of just printing it out, because then the, the caller, in this case here, could then decide whatever, what to do with that variable. In this case, it's printing it, but at the same, in the same, uh, in the same way, they could use that, um, that whatever the, the A minor uh, pr um, returns and assign it to a variable. So, you know, we could easily have written it like, you know, A is equal to, and then all of that. So that's, that's the, um, the advantage of having a return value. Right. Let's take our, our function a step further and let's copy that and paste it in Excel. And now I would like to have my function also um, use or return the username. So let's add a second argument and that is uh, username. And then obviously I'd have to add it here in the in the return strings. So um, I don't have to, mind you, I don't have to. I could just, you know, have it do something else here and it doesn't have to be returned. Just so that, you know, it's not a must if I have two um, arguments in here that I have to return them. No, I don't. It could be that this could be used for some internal purpose and never be returned. So anyways, um, so now let's add it here. So wow, and then here, and then I concatenate the username as as in this line and that's the first way of concatenating and then here uh, the second way would be like this and the third way would be like this so now we have three ways of um, concatenating the whole thing. I'm just wondering if there's a mistake here because the colors, uh, oh, username being looks right. Okay, great. So um, I say, I think the mistake is up here. Yeah, see, I forgot to there that's why i didn't like the colors the way they were changing here yeah right now that now that looks right great so now i have the username everywhere and uh, let me remove that now remember because our function has both user age and username it has to be called differently so it is not enough now let me go print lin a minor it is not enough just to use the age i have to also uh, input a second parameter and now it would work uh, right it, so let's call it or let's run it you see now uh, wow Jane you're you're uh, an adult oh I forgot to put an empty space here uh, yeah everywhere else is empty spaces right let's run it again should look better yeah exactly so you see now here um, it works and it takes and obviously I can call this function as before multiple times let's do the 15 and let's do 32 let's change change some names uh, Mike and Susan And if I run that now, you can see it just works like before, but now we're outputting the name. Now, let's take that a step further 
and now say, you know what? Yeah, sure, it's sure, it's nice to have the username, but sometimes I would like to call the function just with the user age. Sometimes either I don't have the usernames or I don't care about the usernames. So I'd like to have the option of either calling the function as before, just user age, or if I want, I can call it with both user age and username. How do I go about that? Well, in this case, you'd have to set the username or you have to give a username a certain default value, i.e. nothing, an empty string. And the way you do that is here, I should say it is an empty string. So now username is optional. Uh, if you input it, great, it will be used like this. And if you don't, well, it is by default an empty string. So all of that would just be an empty string. And remember, when you have arguments like this, which have a default value, they have to be at the end of the list of parameters you have in your function. They cannot be at the beginning, you'll get an error message. That's very important to remember. You will notice it if you just change the, the, um, the sequence, but those variables with default values have to be at the end. I think in most languages it's like this. And now we can try it out. We can just copy that and call uh, the function now, same parameters, uh, same ages, but in this case, no names. And let's see how it works. And right. And if I run that, you'd see now the first three are without name and the last three are with name, with username. And you see the only problem I have here is those gaps that, you know, because of that empty space here and here, and obviously no name in between, it looks a bit, you know, not perfect. How do I rectify that? Well, there are multiple ways of doing it. Uh, one way is just let's copy that and put a condition. So if user name is an empty string, then what? Well, then let's paste that. Let's tap that inside and else this gets tapped inside and empty condition so and here with the empty string i just remove the username because if it's an empty string there is no need for the username again here and this way i also remove those superfluous um, empty spaces right so now I have cleaned up my code. In case of no username, we get one of these. And in case the username is input, I get one of these. So now if I run it, you can see those first three strings look much better. And voila, there you go. They are now uh, way better than before. And by the way, let's, let's try minors because i just noticed we don't have any minors here we just have teenagers and adults and let's run that now you can see all three texts look pretty good right and you can even you can even have the loop of before which just calls one uh, variable uh, which just inputs one variable, which is the age. And if I, I'm just looking at everything right over here, end. So now if I call that, then you see it works as before. And in case I have the username, well, then that username will be output uh, out here. So now we've seen the advantage of having a function because all I, uh, what I did in contrast to our initial program here, which was like, you know, basically all over the place. In this case, what I did is I created a function. I packaged the core of the program in a package that anybody can call and anybody can call either with the age or with the username and or with both, obviously. And they can call it as many times as they want. It always delivers the same thing. And 
it is up to the caller in this case what to do with the with the with the return value in this case we're just printing it out but it also can be used in further applications or further functions you can take that whatever a minor returns and use that in another function in another instance in another um, sort of program so that's the beauty of functions they're like reusable blocks of code which you have to create once and you can call as many times as you want in the next video we'll delve into function more into functions and see what 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 kind of uh, all the options that we have with uh, julia functions